All right, guys, what's up? This is uh, for the PSP 1000 uh, because 6.37 custom firmware ME doesn't work on the 1000. We uh, need to use one from China, sad to say. But don't worry, it's not in Chinese. Uh, two files I'm going to have you download. The official 635.pvp and uh, you have the 635pro-a zip. Uh, you're going to need both these files because one you need to be running on official firmware 635 uh, in order to do this and uh, then you're just gonna use my Pro A installer so uh, basically what we have here is uh, after you've used this renamed it as eboot.pvp put it in an update folder and uh, update your official firmware to 635 you're gonna either right click on this and say extract files to wherever or just double click on it with an extraction program now you're gonna see a PSP folder inside that PSP folder you're gonna see a game folder over the game folder you're gonna see 635 pro update you open that folder up that doesn't need to be in there uh, you're gonna see an eboot and a whole bunch of PRX's now as long as all this is there the Galaxy uh, <coughs> March 33 reboot text satellite Stargate system control USB device and VSH control is there you're good so I just updated this to official firmware 635 it's a PSP 1000 model this is a uh, buddy of mine's that I'm doing for him <laughs> so now that we are uh, back on official firmware here 635 awesome what you're gonna do is connect your USB cable to your PSP now I will have the links for download for these files where the fuck did it go why did it go there go back over there anyways uh, go to start computer and open up the memory stick open up the PSP folder and open up the game folder now delete an update folder in there if you have one for me it was the official firmware update folder and uh, simply what we are going to do is go back in our extracted files to the 635 pro update folder and just drag and drop that over to the PSP game folder like so Once you've done that, exit that, and now you can exit USB mode on the PSP 1000. Now what you're going to do, scroll over to the memory stick on the game, or yeah, on your XMB, and you're going to see 635 Pro Custom Firmware. Your data is not corrupt. It's not going to start. Let me show you a tip. You open up this folder, oh, wrong folder. Go all the way back to the beginning open up the readme document now this was in Chinese but I took the liberty of putting it in English so install uh, firmware 635 users the first official firmware upgrade so first you gotta upgrade to 635 um, where the hell is the thingy with the thing? What the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. Firmware 636 users using the 636 Pro. Well, that's gay. Oh. I forgot a file. Hold on. Gotta get the 635 head. Okay, I'm back. Another file I'm gonna have you download. 635 Pro Head. You're gonna need this. So, we can leave everything the way it is. I totally forgot to do this. I feel like an idiot. Open your USB connection yet again. So, you're gonna start computer, open up 
that, PSP folder, game folder, yada yada. So, <coughs> this is signed to work on uh, the um, official firmware as game. It's been signed with the patcher to make it whatever. <coughs> Anyways, go to your game folder and uh, you're going to select it. You're going to right click and select new folder. What you're going to do is type 635 Pro Pen. Leave it at that. Now open that folder. Go in here and take the eboot. Drag and drop that over. Voila. Once you've done that, now we can exit USB mode. Scroll over to the game on the memory stick. Open up the memory stick. And you're going to see uh, 635 Hen by Cold Bird and VF. Start it. This is going to enable the custom firmware environment. This is the easiest Hen ever to understand. Now just wait. Now you're going to come back to the XMB after a couple of seconds. Go to System Settings, System Information, and you're going to see that your firmware is 635 Pro. Once you've done that off of the official firmware, we're going to go back now, and this also works with PSP. 2000s, 2000s versions 2, the 3000, and the Go. So, pretty good, huh? So this will work with all PSP models. But I'm doing it on a 1000 right now because this is the only way that we can get this high in custom firmware. Now go to the 635 Pro A updater that you have put on your memory stick. Start that up now that you have enabled the homebrew environment. Six three five Pro A by Coldbird and VF. Press X to launch custom firmware, and it's going to launch. See how it's doing that. Press X to start custom firmware. No reboot required. Awesome. It's pretty slick. So, if we scroll over. You now have a VSH menu. And uh, scroll down to system information. We are running on 635 Pro A custom firmware. So, I will make a review video on this custom firmware for you guys. And uh, yeah, that is about it. So, let's recap really quick. Because I shut off the PSP. So, if you're not, if you're on any custom firmware, um, what you're going to need to do is if you're on like 5.50 or something, which I imagine you would be, or 5.00, download the 635 official firmware, rename it as eboot.pvp, put it in an update folder in the game folder, update to official firmware 635, use the 635 Pro Hen to enable the homebrew environment, and then use the 635 Pro A updater to lock in the custom firmware. So you don't have to worry about your device rebooting and having to re-enable the homebrew environment. So we're good, that's that. I will have a fairly long description on the side of the video. Um, I did convert the text document to American or English so that you can uh, be able to read it and use it for reference um, as best you can. And uh, yeah, so rate, comment, subscribe. This custom firmware works with 1000s, 2000s, 2000s, version 887s, 3000s, and the PSP Go. So, yeah, take it easy, guys. Rob Paps, signing out. Subscribe, rate, comment, ask questions. I'll answer. I'll get back at you. Recommendations for videos? Cool. Take it easy, guys, and enjoy 635 custom firmware.